uh, over the course of three days. What? Now, this doesn't what? include... Hello guys, welcome to the How Much Do They Make series. Today we've got a special guest. You've seen her on this channel before. She's coming back for a trilogy. Today <laughs> we've got Pam. Hello Pam. Hey. Yes, so today we're gonna to speak to you guys about what Pamela actually does as a business coach. This series is intended for you guys to meet really inspirational people who you might want to learn a lot about. What's their career journey been like? What are the true realities? of what they do. Not just what's made them a success, but what's the challenge as well? You know, yeah. we want you guys to learn that so that you can make better decisions in, in your own lives as well and progress significantly mm -hmm. on your own career journey. So Pam, welcome. Welcome. Oh, thank you, I'm excited, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> so first question Pam is, what exactly do you do as a business coach and how long have you been doing it for? Okay, so as a business coach, I help uh, people who are trying to start their own businesses. Mm -hmm. So I work with people who uh, are at the idea phase mm -hmm. and those who have had an idea, tried it, failed, are stuck. Mm -hmm. I'm the person that meets with people and goes instantly, mm -hmm. you're going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. right. This is the way that you should be going. Mm -hmm. um, I, I call it a curse and a gift at the same time. <laughs> the reason it's a curse is because I can't shut up. I really, really struggle to see somebody going a specific direction yeah. and they need to go a different way. So I'm that friend, I'm that person who everybody comes to and goes, Pam, what should I be doing? And I'm like, I'm glad you came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone yeah. needs that person. Yeah, I agree, I agree. <laughs> so Pam, tell us, how did you actually get into becoming a business coach? That's a really good question. I was first coaching within the daycare niche. And I discovered a problem with that niche and um, I started live streaming. So live streaming was actually the key for me. I started live streaming literally almost every day, just answering questions, genuinely helping my audience. And then I had lots of people, for some reason, because of the algorithm of Facebook, I then attracted loads of other people who weren't day nursery owners. And I realized that the uh, problems that I was solving for them, uh, for the day nursery owners, uh, other people also had. Mm. And yeah. so I had the benefit of then helping people who were in all these different industries. And for some reason, I seemed to have a solution for them. And then uh, that's when I realized that there was such a thing as business, business uh, coaching. Yeah. Okay. So I started helping loads of uh, other different people. Okay, so for the people watching, yeah. what's a day in a life of a business coach like? Give, um, give us you know, a, quick, a quick summary, like when you wake up, yeah to the end of your day, like what, yeah. what occupies What do day? I do? Yeah, what do you do? I have to be honest with you guys, my day has changed drastically from when I first started mm -hmm. to yeah. what I do now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a very short snippet of both. When mm -hmm. I first started, my day was consumed with, what do I do now? Mm. What is my task for the day? Let me try this. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me try this. There was no focus. It was it was like that for the first 18 months, right. I would say. And that had a direct impact on my income, my results, my everything. Mm -hmm. Now my day is pretty structured. In fact, just before recording this, I was saying to my sister-in-law how I'm like, no, I have such free time during my day. I'm now looking for things to fill it with. <laughs> but I tell you what my day is, you know, a little bit. My day starts at 5 a.m. every single day. Mm -hmm. I wake up at 5 a.m. Um, to really get to the crux of my business. And I answer mm -hmm. three key questions when I wake up. It is, how do I want to show up for my audience today? Mm -hmm. How can people find me today? Mm -hmm. And how can I increase my income today? Those are the three questions wow. that I'm always asking myself every single morning. And I work with post-it notes. And the reason I work with post-it notes, I answer those questions on the post-it notes because it limits me to writing a very small amount. So mm -hmm. I'm literally giving myself bullet points. How do I want to show up today? Well, then I answer that. Well, I'm going to show up through my Facebook ads mm -hmm. or I'm going to show up because I'm posting on social media. How do I want to be found uh, today? I answer it because, well, I'm, I need people to get onto my email list. And so that directs the content that I'm putting out with my course to action. Mm -hmm. And then how do I want to increase my income? That automatically helps me to start thinking as a CEO and as a business owner in terms of what am I doing to generate income? Am mm -hmm. I talking about a product? Am I talking about an event? Am I talking about uh, uh, something that I'm working on in the future? Am I teasing something? Mm -hmm. So answering those three questions at 5 a.m. really directs my day. My kids wake up at 7 a.m. So between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m., my day is pretty much finished. Mm -hmm. Everything else outside of, you know, by the time they've gone to school, mm -hmm. everything is optional. Right. Yeah. Powerful. Yeah. So your main work is in the morning. Oh, yes. 
Oh yeah. Wow. So tell us, Pam, what top three things do you do today that actually make you a success at being a business coach? Ooh, at being a business coach? Okay, what top three things? I think number one is discipline. Yeah. Mm. I am incredibly disciplined. She is. My yes is my yes and my no is my no. When I want yeah, to goes. do something, uh, like it will take a tornado to pull me down from that thing. So discipline is such a huge thing and I have I carry it throughout mm-hmm. every single area of my life. Um, the second thing that I think makes me success is that I'm I'm a learner. Mm-hmm. And that means that I have I have zero ego. <laughs> And so what I mean by that is I'm willing to learn under anybody. I'm not yes. too big. Mm-hmm. I'm not too high. Yeah. I'm if I see, you know, if I see anybody who's doing something and I could learn from it, I'm not afraid to ask. Yes. I'm always reading. Mm-hmm. I'm always studying. I'm always investing in myself. I'm a learner. Mm-hmm. The third thing is that I am my own biggest fan. Oh my goodness. I love, <laughs> love it. it. I love it. I'm so sorry. I know my family love me. I know God loves yeah. me. Yeah. I love me. Yeah. I am my own biggest fan. Yeah. And I truly believe that if you're going to be successful you have to show yourself some serious love yeah i have conversations with pam i'm like pam don't you know that you're all that yeah Yeah. like i beat myself up you're you're gonna smash it listen pam you're gonna nail this launch yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i take myself to the moon and back yeah because when you are running your business and when you're at the top, it is difficult. Yes. It is incredibly tough. It's tough on every level. It's tough physically mm-hmm. and it's tough mentally and emotionally. And you find that the biggest battle you have is with yourself. It's with yourself. It's not with anybody mm-hmm. else. You find that and and the higher you go, the more you come across uh, 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 things that will potentially pull you down. Mm-hmm. And so by having discipline and by reminding yourself of who you are, it just anchors you and it gives you that belief that you need. Because how can you truly help oh. somebody else if you don't have that belief in yourself? Yeah. So therefore, you have to go to town on your own self. Mm-hmm. You have to go to town on your mind and you have to go to town on your mind every single day mm-hmm. in order to be able to deposit even just five percent into somebody else you have to be operating at your optimal every time 100 yeah. percent. pam came to preach today <laughs> bars bars tell us what do you love about what you do oh what do i love about what yeah. i do okay there's oh my god there's too many things that i love number one i don't think i could do anything else i don't think that i want to of course i can do anything mm-hmm. that i put my mind to but i choose not to and that is because i think the biggest thing that i love is the transformation in people's lives right. genuinely helping people and it's not about money mm-hmm. i don't love it when they i don't just love it when they make money no it's the little changes that happen mm-hmm. day by day in their mindset it's the fact that when people come to me they're not only talking to me about their money but they're talking to me in a holistic way I'm involved in people's marriages I'm involved in the Mm. way they govern their home they look after their kids so these things I realise that I've been blessed and the impact that I'm having is in such a big way so I love that Mm. I also love that I am uh, in a position to make my own decisions Mm -hmm. I love that I don't have to ask for permission Mm -hmm. uh, to be wherever you know I go to the gym uh, four times a week with my Mm -hmm. husband I love that I don't have to clock in and clock out Mm -hmm. I love Mm -hmm. that if I want to go on holiday I I go on holiday the the freedom is just there's nothing nothing like it and I I also love that if I want to bless somebody, I don't have to think about it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like it doesn't even cross my mind. I don't sit there counting, oh, I've given this amount of money yeah. in for time. And, that, or... and that's because you are blessing from a place of abundance. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. And that's yes. important for people to understand yeah. that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Because that's, that's a different mindset, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I went to lunch with a friend the other day and we were talking about this. Uh, this. You know, I, I got the bill at the end and she was mm-hmm. very surprised. Mm-hmm. And she said, no, let's split the bill. And I went, sure, let's split the bill. And I'd obviously <laughs> paid for it and she didn't know. I was just yeah. <laughs> pulling her legs. And, you know, we were just talking about it. And she said, but how do you do that? And I said, it's abundance. The mm-hmm. more you give, the more you receive. More, yeah, you just yeah. just get into more the habit back. of helping people. And it's not just helping yeah. in money, helping with your time, abundance with your time. If you want more time, if you're thinking that you don't have enough time to do anything, give the little that you have. Give your time. Mm-hmm. If you're thinking you don't have enough money, find somebody to bless with money. Yeah. You find that these things just begin mm-hmm. to come back to you. And I, I love that I have the ability to do that. Yeah. Powerful. So tell us, What's the one thing that you find the most challenging in your job? Okay, the one thing that I found the most challenging is also the most exciting. Mm -hmm. And it is the ever 
changing marketing algorithm. Okay. It is the most challenging, but yet it's the most exciting because it keeps you on your toes. You right. know, I run Facebook ads a lot for my business and I use social media organically. Mm -hmm. And if you've been on social media for even one minute, you know that the algorithm is... A lot is, changes. It, a lot yeah. changes and you have to be ready for it. Mm -hmm. And um, so it is the most challenging, but it's also the most exciting because like I mentioned earlier with mm -hmm. my top three points, mm -hmm. I am a learner at heart. Mm -hmm. And so my mindset just always goes, okay, you've changed something. While I'm about to learn, I'll come to class. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. know, and I take it on. Yeah, right. so that's wow. what it is. Yeah. Okay, so this is a unique series you're running. So we'd love yeah. to know, and people will be very, very interested to know this, Pam, is given what you do as a business coach, tell people what sort of income do you make as a business coach? So like per month and per year, like give people some 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 context for them to kind of understand okay. what we're talking. Sure. I think that everybody who is in this in, in my industry will have a very different answer to this question yeah because it That's depends important. on what you do and yeah. how you do it mm -hmm. i give you an example for the first 18 months of my business i couldn't even scratch 500 pounds per month mm -hmm. that is the truth reality people. that is the truth reality right? yeah uh however now when we do a launch we launch every two months mm -hmm. uh and we do multiple six figures so sometimes you know the highest uh month that we have done uh, for our launch has been $189,000. Uh, uh, dollars. We will be charging dollars uh, mm -hmm. over the course of three days. What? Now, this doesn't what? include... See, that's what I mean by no, no, but that's important. what you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's important. That's why yeah. you're here. Yeah. You're in the hot seat because yeah. you're doing amazing things. I'm burning. Right? I'm burning. Yeah. <laughs> so what you said there, $189,000 dollars. Yeah. In a three-day period, yeah. but over a launch that you do every two, two months. months. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So in the lead up to that launch, mm -hmm. other income has come in. So I have I have various income sources within my business. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean by it depends who you're talking to. Yeah, so yeah. I just give you a quick breakdown in my business yeah. with some of the income sources. Mm -hmm. So besides the general stuff that you would hear about, I mean you've heard about affiliate Affiliates, marketing and yeah. all of these other things. Besides that, in my business I have something called a sales system. Yeah. And within that we have multiple products. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And think about it like being in IKEA, right? <laughs> so you know how you walk yeah. into IKEA and you can't just walk back out. You go into IKEA I'm for, for a plant, your, you walk out with your, a plant, a pillow, tray. yeah, a plant, yeah. a pillow, a quilt, <laughs> and, the mid, and the mid balls at a and restaurant, the and the you mid balls at a restaurant. You've drew, wiped yeah. your face, yeah. you've drank, so, yeah, it's it's a it's a little bit like that. Yeah. Right. So I have products within a funnel, and so mm -hmm. so let's imagine I'm launching every two months, yeah. right? Within mm -hmm. those two months. That funnel, that sell system is accruing. It's bringing in customers. It's yeah. bringing in yeah. uh, 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 clients. It's it's bringing in money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Besides what we end the two months of, which is our, our actual launch that we were leading up yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so basically yeah. what you're saying is in every two months, the chances are you probably hit $200,000. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the, the crazy thing about it is you get to a stage if you have the right sell system in place mm -hmm. that you can actually go, no, this month I want to do 400K. Ooh. Yeah, you get to a stage of that? data. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's data. So it's yeah. about, okay. Yeah. And I've said this so many times on this channel. It's about, it becomes about inputs and outputs. Yes, right. yes. Because and you won't have that unless you have data. Mm -hmm. right. Now, what do I mean by data? Data is when you've done something over a period of time mm -hmm. that it becomes predictable. I.e., mm -hmm. I know that if I bring in X amount of people in my on my email list in a specific month, yeah. I can mm -hmm. tell you three months ahead, oh, this is what's going to happen in July. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to happen in November. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that stops me from doing that is obviously algorithms and mm -hmm. the cost of ad and mm -hmm. all of these things. And by the way, that's not all profit because I obviously invest in uh, Facebook ads and yeah. so on. Yeah. Um, but, but data is very, very important. And that's where... Uh, a lot of people who uh, who are struggling in this industry, that's where they really struggle and that's where I struggled. Mm -hmm. When I mentioned earlier that I was doing $500 uh, dollars per month, I didn't have the you data and I didn't, I didn't right. push myself mm -hmm. enough to have data because that requires risk. Mm -hmm. gotcha. That requires risk and not many people are willing to take that risk. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So worth mentioning to people, so, the, so a number that, that Pam mentioned is say $200,000 every two months. Yeah is revenue okay? yes so it's worth mentioning that's yeah. revenue yeah and out of revenue obviously comes operating costs cost yes. of sales oh, yes which are things like your facebook ads and mm -hmm. cost of you acquiring a customer and obviously operating costs and so on so it's just worth mentioning but that does not take away from the fact that like, <laughs> 
two hundred thousand dollars, man. Like every two months. I mean, that's just like. Let's not forget, like Pam, you're in your thirties. Yeah, like, you're my youngest. Younger. You're my younger sister, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so she is the youngest, but she's a smart. She's, a, she's, a smart. she's the youngest one. But Pam has been on this online stuff for much, yeah. for much longer. You've been yeah. doing online I business have. for much longer. I have. Actually. So, and let's remind everybody: you used to be a trained act. You used to be a trained actress. You came from the acting world. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so for you, so I'm saying this. The reason I'm mentioning that is that Pam has progressed in her ability. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She used to be on stage at yeah, National yeah. Theatre and yeah. places like that yeah, acting. Exactly. Yeah. But over time changed from in the creative industry to actually yeah. coming into the business stage. That's really important to, to have that perspective. And exactly. the crazy thing is, I've just pulled in what I was doing there. Yeah. This is exactly. a stage of my own. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this, that transferable skills, yeah. you're able to apply what you learn. Yeah, this is I'm on acting, uh, this is a stage of my own. That's mm-hmm. right. Yeah. I've just literally just pulled that in. It's helped me with my confidence and mm. it's helped me in the way that I deliver, in the way that I in, in everything, really. Mm-hmm. It's just I've just transferred my skill and I'm using it in a different way. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Pam, I'm sure a lot of people want to know. Yeah. What is the maximum income potential for somebody who is a business coach, for example? Gosh, okay. Mm -hmm. The only limit is your mindset and it's your willingness to do Mm -hmm. the work that's required. Mm -hmm. I know people in my industry who do uh, a million a month. You know, it it all depends on how your business is set up. And Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, crossing the six figure per month was like the holy grail. And I'm, you know, if I'm being completely honest, two years ago, I didn't think that was even possible. Yeah. (laughs) And I, I even remember you calling me like anyway yeah me, when you hit those milestones yeah yeah yeah, yeah we've yeah. had conversations you've been on yeah, the journey yeah yeah so yeah, yeah, you know. journey, right? oh, yeah. So, yeah so 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 what you're saying then is is that, that there's really no cap no so could, imagine let's say you are a woman or you are black or you uh you know what can yeah. stop you because a lot of people the reason i'm mentioning this yes. and obviously we have a very diverse yes. audience yes. but let's be real right a lot of people will say well actually do you know what like i i'm old yeah Right? They say, I'm old, yeah. or I'm black, or I'm an immigrant, or yeah. I'm, I'm a, a woman. I have an accent. I'm a single parent, yeah. or I've got an accent because yeah. yeah. our mum yeah. says that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah, true. So we know these objections. Yeah. So what you're saying, are you, sa- are you saying, like, realistically, that there's nothing that stops people from, in this type of business, having, having that cap? There's nothing that stops you. Absolutely not. The only thing that stops you is you. The reason I say that, uh, there are so many influencers that are black, have an accent, come from a background where they had no money. Mm-hmm. There, there, you know, there, there is really nothing that stops you. I do have to admit that uh, you will attract people who are closer to your kind. Mm-hmm. I have right. to admit that, right? So, for example, if you're a woman, you're going to mostly have a female audience. Yeah. Right. If you're black, you're going to ma- mainly have a black audience. But that's a great thing. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I honestly think that all of these hang-ups that we have, mm-hmm. I think that they are blessings. So, I've received messages from a lot of people messaging me and connecting connecting with me privately saying, I can't believe how successful you are. Mm. I'm so proud of you. I-, I can't believe how much money you're making, even though you're dark-skinned. Yeah, I'm going to be dark saying skin. about what? Wow. Okay. Yes, That's yes. Interesting. And the funny thing is, they mean well. They mean it as a compliment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that if I didn't have the confidence that I have, oh yeah, that could probably affect me. Mm-hmm. And so that's what I mean by, not only do you have to be your own biggest fan, but the only thing that's genuinely holding you back is you, yeah. you know? So you have to be ready for that. You have to be ready that not everybody's going to like you. Mm-hmm. You also have to be aware that there are going to be keyboard warriors. People might not understand you, might mm-hmm. not agree with you. Mm-hmm. But the, the great thing about that is that the world is such a big place. Yeah. And with billions of people on mm-hmm. this planet, mm-hmm. all you need is a sliver of them to like you and you're good yeah. you don't need to appeal to everybody. everybody and if you're talking to everyone you're talking to no, no one, one anyway exactly. right no one so correct yeah so it's okay but that yeah. small group of people that know you like you trust you mm-hmm. oh yeah they will they will go to town the for 1000 true yeah. fans that's all you need 1000 true fans that's all you right? need that's important that's need. an important concept yeah. Do you have any plans of growing your income? And if so, like, what oh, yeah. would you plan to do differently? Like, how, how would you go yeah. about doing that? Which I'm asking that just so that people can understand how you think yeah. about income, because not many of us really think about income 
on a daily or even weekly or monthly basis? Well, if you think about it daily, how, yeah, do you, yeah. how do you move to that next level? Do you, do you want to share? Definitely. Do I plan to grow my income? Absolutely. If there's no ceiling, then I'm going to keep going higher, mm-hmm. right? Um, how do I plan to grow my income moving forward? Um, I'm going to be hiring more. Right. Um, I believe in outsourcing in you know and having other people help you that's one thing that I'm going to be doing yeah. but I'm specifically specifically going to invest in creating even more products right, right? Okay. Uh, I want to I want to be known for something there's something that I learned from Oprah Winfrey uh, which is an mm-hmm. advice that she gave to Tyler Perry and that was own everything Ooh. right own everything wow. get your name on it put your name on it right. and mm-hmm. I, I remember uh, Pastor Tyler again you know preached about this mm-hmm. put your name on it okay. and so that's a big thing that I really believe in so we're going to be putting our name on it putting uh, creating lots of products uh, creating merchandise mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, we're going to be creating a, a book funnel and yep. you know writing books yep. mm-hmm. and, and all of these other things but but these are some of the ways that I'm going to be growing my income moving forward right yeah Tell us, what top three pieces of advice would you give to somebody who might look at Pam and say, oh my gosh, I want to become like Pam. I want to become a business coach and earn as much as you do and potentially more. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's a loaded question. (laughs) They can definitely earn more than me for sure. And um, what my top three advice would be, uh, number one is to make sure that you are publishing daily, right? Mm -hmm. Get out there and publish every single day. Just start by talking about, what it is that you know. Start from mm-hmm. where you know. Mm-hmm. Then the next thing you want to do is study mm-hmm. and then publish about what you're learning. Mm-hmm. So level one is what you know. Level two is what you are discovering, your discoveries. Mm-hmm. Allow your audience to go on a journey with you as you grow because mm-hmm. they're really buying into that journey. So that's the first thing that I would say. Mm-hmm. The second thing that I would uh Uh, definitely, definitely recommend is that from the beginning that you make sure that you are growing an email list. That means that you're not depending on social media. Mm -hmm. Um, I've had instances where I've lost some of my social media accounts at one point or another. Close down. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. And if you are, and that's the risk of... And and you've had to to start them again. I've had to start them again. That's right. (laughs) And that's the risk of if you're operating at this level, Mm -hmm. you know, you're targeted by algorithms and different things. It doesn't even matter what it is. But the truth of the matter is that you don't own social media you don't mm-hmm. own Facebook yeah. Instagram LinkedIn or whatever mm-hmm. so the only thing that you'll ever own is your email list and that's where the biggest uh, the biggest ROI return on investment actually is yeah. so start your email list from day zero mm-hmm. and the third and final thing and this is probably the most important thing is that you must 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 make sure that you have a sales system mm-hmm. without it you have zero chance of yeah. actually having freedom yeah. you yeah. will have a successful business yes but will you get potentially Will you get sales? Potentially, yeah. Mm -hmm. Will you get clients? Potentially, yes. But will you do that consistently? Mm -hmm. No. And you won't have data. And remember Mm -hmm. what I mentioned earlier about data? It is data that allows you to scale. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can scale is through automation. And Mm -hmm. that is where sales systems come in. Gotcha. Quality advice. So we couldn't possibly have you here and not ask you this, Pam. Giving all this money you make as a business owner and so on, which is absolutely inspiring and amazing. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your relationship with money? Gosh, money. Money is, it's just a tool Mm -hmm. that allows me to actually have impact. Um, Money means very little to me Mm -hmm. in the sense that it has no hold on me. I think that once you get to a stage where you understand how to make money, the next thing you want to do is you want to disengage any power that it has over you and realize that it's a tool yeah. that you use to work for you. So you've got to send money out to do the work for you. To mm-hmm. re- that means reinvesting and blessing people and just mm-hmm. using it to really, really have impact. Now, mm-hmm. before that, I used to think that money was, uh, you know, that I, you know, my, my thing was, I, you know, I, you know, it was impossible to be rich. Mm-hmm. You know, being the children of immigrants, it was yeah. difficult. It was, you yeah, have to work hard for money. You have yeah. to, um, you have to graft and, and it's all hard work. And yeah. if you're not working hard, you're never... Never going not, to make yeah, money. Make yeah, it. if yeah. you're not pulling in the hours, you're never going to make money. Yeah. There was no such thing when we were, you know, growing up, yeah. such as yeah. freedom or working less and making yeah. more it money. It didn't exist. It didn't exist. It there was no exist. such thing as working smart and yeah. having systems do the work for you. Yeah. Everything was it was you, you, you. You had to do and it. And having money do the work for you. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Yeah. So it's it's very different now. Now money has to do the work. It's it's it's, it's time to work. 
So Pam, given that you are both siblings and you're from very much an entrepreneurial family, okay. what is the one thing you learned about money growing up from your parents? Okay, from our parents. So from my mum, from my mum, the one thing that I learned about money yeah. is that uh, it's better to be a giver. Yeah. My mum taught yeah. me one thing. She should, One day yeah. she said, Pam, if you hold your hand like this, so that money doesn't go out. Doesn't what happens to the yeah. money? It doesn't come doesn't in. Come in. Yes. And so therefore, keep your hands open. And yes, money goes out, but plenty come in. Yeah. So I've always tried to, mm-hmm. I've learned from that. And I've, you know, I'm, I, you know, I've always tried to be a giver. Yeah. Uh, my mom has been, well, yeah, I, I know, I know. Incredible. 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 Yeah. Oh Incredible. my goodness. Oh my goodness. Incredible. With all her giving, like yeah. it is just, it is just crazy. Levels. Like, it levels. Like, levels. I don't think, I don't think we can match. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Le- levels of giving. <laughs> yes. Levels, levels of giving. It's just crazy. Yeah. And um, and that's it. That's something that as her children, I know that we are always yeah. learning from priority and uh, priority. And from my dad. I've learned that it's never too late. Mm. My dad started his business. Uh, yeah. Gosh, yeah, not 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 be- just before he retired. Really, yeah, just before he before retired, retired. In, his in his 60s. 60s. Oh my god, yeah. in, in his, his 60s. 60s. Yeah. yeah, he started his yeah. business. And so, looking at my dad, it's just like, what is your excuse? Yeah, you know? exactly. It's just like, what is your excuse? What's so stopping true. you? It's so never true. too late. Yeah. And so, and so, I learned from my dad really that if you really want something, mm-hmm. you know, you just go for it, and it's never too late. Yeah. And so, when I put those two uh, people together, you know, the incredible role models. Yeah. yeah. So Pam, let's let the people know the deeds, right? So you are great at making money, right? Mm-hmm. You're entrepreneurial. It's in the genes and all that, right? <laughs> but you make it. You make it happen. <laughs> How do you treat yourself? Like, let people know. How do you actually spend your money? Like, what do you do with it all? Well, of course, I have, like, three Lamborghinis, five <laughs> Ferraris. I have a jet. No, I'm joking. None uh, of the above. No, none of that. Let's say something. You became mortgage-free last year. That's one yes. thing. Yes. So, you know, a lot of money's been going towards paying off a house. So yes, that's done now. Definitely, definitely. How else are you, like, spending your money? The crazy thing is, I've never been into, well, you know this, I've never been into expensive things, designer clothes, handbags, Your husband shoes. loves his cars. Though. He's my husband. <laughs> He does love his cars, and Aston Martin is on the way. Anyway, carry on. But yes, um, I I prefer to invest in in experiences and memories. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest thing. Mm -hmm. So holidays, you know, uh, weekend breaks, you know, we go away a fair bit. uh, You know, just to hotels or flying out, whatever. That's really that's how I relax and how I love to build memories with my children and my husband. So that's really where we spend money the most. Now that we've paid off our house. Uh, you know, yeah. we're looking at other things. You're, you're, pretty, you're pretty much living the life. Mortgage free, business on the road, you know, doing well. That's, but this is this is the life, though. I mean, let's yeah. look, seriously, let's be real, right? Like, yeah. like we, you know, I always say this. Whenever you're here, I always remind people that, yeah. you know, Pam and I are first generation. Like, you know, yeah. 1998, we moved to this country. Yeah. Completely ground zero. In fact, Not below that, ground zero. Yes. But below ground zero, yes. right? So, like, you know, if, if we can see these bits of progress yeah. and celebrate them in our 30s. Yes. Yeah. In our 30s. Yeah. Early 30s, late 30s. Can you just Hello? be up? Hey, 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 hey. Because hey, hey. you, you make it that. seem like we're closer in age. When, when I said she was like your sister, I didn't mean that much younger, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> She's begging you early 30s. Exactly. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything. We're very right, close okay? in age. <laughs> no, we're not. We're close in age. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but honestly, like on that note, like seriously, I mean, it just shows anyone who's watching this, like wherever you are yeah. on your journey, on your money journey, there's yeah. so much is possible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So much is possible, yeah. especially yeah. in this age we're living through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it's even more possible now yeah. than it ever was uh, f- for us. You know, two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. Now, there are more people online now than there ever was. So yeah. if you're mm-hmm. ever thinking of starting something online, now is the time. I think that if I had the benefits of all of the things that we have now of, you know, uh, virtual meetings and mm-hmm. um, uh, the ads and social media. Yeah. If we had that, know, oh I my know. goodness, would have blown up much quicker. Oh right? yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. so yeah, it's much easier now for sure. Yeah. So Pam, can you think of a specific money mistake that you made or regret, and what have you learned from it too? Yeah, definitely. I think 
Personally, I wish I had learned about money sooner mm -hmm. and how to use money, yeah. uh, how to invest money. Mm -hmm. You know, like we said earlier, you know, I thought making money, the only way to do it was to work for it. Yeah. I, I, I'd never learned or been taught that money could work for you mm -hmm. and that you could put a pound in and get mm -hmm. 10 pounds out. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely wish that I had, you know, put more thought or had been taught mm -hmm. about increasing, you know, my uh, investment portfolio yeah, yeah, yeah. and all of these things. I, I really mm -hmm. wish I knew that much sooner yeah. and then I could have benefited from compound effect but anyway you know mm -hmm. no regrets these are things that we get to transfer to our children yeah yeah, but yeah you know I wish I'd known sooner yeah this is my favorite question to ask people so Pam like you make the money mm -hmm. you spend some of it when you want what is really your ultimate financial goal like oh. you know what's it all for <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a big question. Yeah. I have to admit, I never thought about this in this way. Mm -hmm. What is my ultimate? I don't know if I have, you know, the end game in mm -hmm. mind, but I know that part of it, I've always had this dream of our parents never having to do anything, never having to pay for a single thing, mm -hmm. never having to want a single thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like freedom for me is only sweeter mm -hmm. when the people around me also have Correct. freedom. Yeah. When mm -hmm. my brother, my sister, mm -hmm. our parents, when it when 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 everybody is really our children. Yeah, yeah our children, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've always had this vision. I don't think I've ever told you this. I've always mm -hmm. had this vision that we're all we all live next to each other. Mm -hmm. And so that our children are able to be together all the time, and we're all obviously mortgage free, yeah, yeah, yeah. living large. Yeah. But it's 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 like everybody is free. It's it's not just for me. Yeah. So I don't know what the end game is, but I know that um, I won't stop until everybody around us mm -hmm. is living that life or or has that level of freedom. Which yeah. hint hint. Yeah, you already yeah, do. Yeah. Jennifer well, already does. Well, 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 well we, all do. we all do. We all yeah, do. We all do. Yeah, we, we all do. do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, that's that's an important thing uh, for me. But also, mm -hmm. um, a, a lot of people our age don't have the benefit of an inheritance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. this is a big thing yeah. for me that our children mm -hmm. that we set them up nicely. Generational wealth. Generational basically. wealth that we pass it down, mm -hmm. not just in property or in these other things. Of mm -hmm. course they will have that, but they won't know about mm -hmm. it. But we set them up in terms of their mindset, in terms of yeah. I want to be free Powerful. enough that we are that we understand, you know, my uh, my first son is uh, uh, nearly seven. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, I want to get him into business uh, pretty soon. Early. Talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. creating his own store, an online store for him, yeah. his own thing. And, you know, we just need to pass That's this down legacy, to our right? children. Yeah, so legacy. I don't see an ultimate goal because that, that requires that there's a stop somewhere and I, I can't yeah. see myself yeah. stopping. Yeah. It, it's just It's just we keep going and we keep transferring mm -hmm. and, you know, and making sure that other people around us that we're taking them along mm -hmm. and that they too are experiencing what freedom looks that like. That is why, that's exactly why this channel exists. Taking them along. This yeah. is so yeah, powerful. Do you know something you said that we really stood out where you said you have this vision of us yeah. houses next to each other. Remember yeah. we haven't talked we we know yeah. mum yes so our mum built this house, yeah. you know, not in this country, but you know, yeah. in, in, in in our home country, yeah. our other home countries were dual yeah. citizens, yeah. where you know she's got these this this large the house, the vision the house. Well, yeah. there are three of them, yeah. and she's like, one's for you, one's yeah. for you, and one's for your sister, yeah. And literally, and she's got that vision of like yeah. us. We can go back there whenever yeah. we want. Yeah. And sort of why yeah. we all live near each other yeah. I think yeah. we all even though it's like an unspoken vision it's yeah. something that we all have yeah. where mm -hmm. that family connection is just so important to us mm -hmm. and we want our kids to always be together we mm -hmm. just want to make sure that we are always connected and yes. making sure that it's not that one person is extremely wealthy it's like no yeah. we all it's a collective vision if, if you're doing people yeah, yeah if you're doing well in one in one area, we come to you for yep. advice. Teach share me. Share the knowledge. We transfer share the knowledge. and we always make sure that yep. everybody is doing well mm -hmm. and we're always carrying each other along. I think that that's what has really helped our family. Powerful. <laughs> So guys, I'm sure you all agree with me that that was a powerful session of what I would call a masterclass with Pam Obasa. So Pam, yeah. tell us, how can people find out about you if they want to know more about what you do? Yeah, 
Uh, check me out on YouTube. Just type in Pam Obasa and you'll find me. I'm sure Kevin Mary will link it below. Yeah. Come and check me out in my little corner on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also subscribe. Uh, subscribe. People. Subscribe. Yes. People. Yes. Uh, over there, I teach a lot about marketing and business. So if that's what you're into, you're gonna love it. So come uh, on uh, Instagram. DM me as well. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm I'm really chilled. <laughs> just communicate with me and just say, you know, I've met you on Kevin Mary's channel and all that. And um, yeah, we can hang. I'm good with that. Awesome. Guys, we really hope you've taken away a lot of value. This is a very important series for us here on The Humble Penny. Check out all the previous interviews we've done for real, real income stories, people sharing their career journeys. We're gonna link to them below if you guys head over and check out the previous ones we've done. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. Thank, Thank you, Pam. Thank you for having me. It's been amazing. Thank you. We love, love, love awesome. having you back as yeah. ever. Truly. You know, I've loved it. Yeah. Thank you here. so much. If you've I not seen Pam's it. other videos as well, this is the third one she's done yeah. on this channel. We're going to link to them below so you can have your, you can binge, man. Binge and <laughs> Pam, binge and Pam. <laughs> Check out the previous videos. And honestly, each one is just full of so much energy, yeah. so much value. And we, uh, we absolutely know that you guys are going to love them. Okay? Thank, Thank you for having guys. me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. So Don't forget much. to like, to share with other people. Yes. Hit the subscribe, people. Yeah. Support us here at The Humble Penny. And as ever, guys, in all things, be, be thankful, thankful and seek joy. joy. Take, Take care. care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.